Well, y'all, this is what I'm working on. This is a pressure washer. It was a pressure washer. And this pressure washer, hopefully by the end of this video, is going to be turned into a boat motor. Now, you may be asking yourself, why didn't you just go buy a boat motor? Or what in the heck is going on? Well, Marcy and I have this kind of a unwritten agreement that if something sits for more than a year and it doesn't get used, it get, we have to get rid of it. We throw it away, we get rid of it somehow. So this pressure washer we've had for about two years, but last year it stopped working. The pump went completely out. And uh, at least during COVID, buying a new pump was just as expensive as buying a new pressure washer. So I just ended up buying a new pressure washer. Well, this one's been sitting and it's an engine and it works. And I knew, hey, someday down the line, I'm going to need this for something and it will be great to have. Well, I guess today is that day in a way. Uh, but it also was about the end of my year deadline. So I had to come up with a, a use for this engine because otherwise I had to get rid of it. So that brings us to now. We have a 10 foot John boat, as you may have seen in some of our other videos. I think there's only like one video of us using it. So we have this John boat. Uh, we don't have a motor for it or nothing. So I figured what better way Let's use this motor. Let's make it into a boat motor. Now this is unconventional from what most of y'all are probably thinking of a boat motor. This is actually called a mud motor and it's for running in really shallow, muddy water. And uh, so that's what we're gonna use it for. But let's see if we can't get this thing to work. Oh, Zan is eating your toy excavator? Zan, what are you doing? Oh, I don't think he ate it. I think he just was looking at it. <laughs> that was so cute, you guys. Maverick, Zan's eating my toy excavator. <laughs> Zan's not gonna eat his toy excavator, but that was cute. He's still, sometimes he's as scared as Zan, sometimes he's not. Daddy will get it in a minute, okay? <laughs> oh, you guys wanna see something really cool though? We uh, have a bird living in my dirt bike helmet. You can see that? I don't know if there's any eggs in there. There must be, because Mama's sitting on there. But isn't that... Isn't that so cool, you guys? I think it's pretty sweet. So we'll keep an eye on it and keep you guys updated on our uh, helmet baby birds. So here's all the parts that I've built so far. This is actually a signpost, like literally like a stop sign post. No, I didn't steal this from an actual stop sign. You can just buy these at Lowe's. So I bought one at Lowe's. Uh, this is all part of the pressure washer. This is going to be the shaft. This is from uh, Atwoods or something like that. This is actually called a Lovejoy. And basically it will go from this to the engine. And that's what will transfer the power. Uh, nuts, bolts, the prop. Uh, but the prop actually has a tapered shaft. So I told my brother who's going to college right now and he has access to a 3D printer. And I said, hey, I need a part 3D printed. I sent him the dimensions and he built me y'all the perfect part. So that slides in there. And then this is the half inch bolt that will go through it. And now it fits perfect. So huge shout out to my brother for making that for me because I literally could not build this without that part. So I am extremely stoked about that. Here's a couple of bearings. And it all gets assembled on this track right here. I'll kind of show you guys how it goes together. Fingers crossed this is gonna work. I really don't know. Well, y'all, I messed up. I really messed up. Dang it. So this is supposed to sit on here, but I cut off the entire thing. I was supposed to leave a section of it here, a section of it here, and a section of it up front. But I didn't do that. No! Oh my gosh, that's annoying. Dang it. So, I guess we're going to have to come up with a plan B. I have another one over here. I just spent like 15 minutes cutting that though. So that is a huge bummer. I'm going to think about what I got to do here. After some thinking, I think I've come up with a new idea. I just cut this out and originally the bearings were gonna sit on top of this and the shaft was gonna go run up it, but that's like, I don't know, five or six inches tall. So I thought, what if I flip this upside down? It's not quite wide enough. I gotta grind that out a little bit and have it run like that. Then it's a lot lower profile. So, oh, thanks buddy. 
Can you set it by the other one? Right there. Thank you, Maverick. So I think we're gonna go with that. We may as well, we ought to try that instead. So I'll get this one welded up on here, get the bar put in there. Y'all stay tuned, cause I don't know how in the heck this is gonna turn out. All right, well, plan B is working out so far. I cut that, now it's gonna be sloped down there as you can see there. So the prop will mount onto the end of this, you know, on the little doohickey thingamajig there. And uh, this is all gonna mount up something like that. I think uh, I've got it pretty much set the way I want it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, weld it together. I'm just gonna tack weld it, which is basically like temporarily gluing it. And then I'll kind of make sure everything looks right and then we'll weld the entire thing. But oh my gosh, it's actually coming together way better than I thought it was. It only took, you know, two or three renditions. But I think at this point, I've got something that we're gonna be really happy with. Redneck boat water coming up. All right, well, that's kind of temporarily. This piece is welded. None of this is. We're going to start it up, see how uh, rickety it is, or see if things line up for it. Uh, hopefully it does. Let's find out. gonna work so good oh my gosh oh my gosh all right let's finish getting this thing welded up and we got to figure out how we're gonna the hardest part left is gonna be getting this prop to sit straight on the shaft um but we're gonna tackle getting the uh rest of this all welded up once that's all welded up then we'll worry about getting the prop shaft on but oh my gosh you guys this is so exciting I'm going to weld the rest of this. Well, if that wasn't just lucky as luck, then I don't know what is. I think that's going to work. It's as straight as an arrow. Almost. It's got a little bit of a wobble to it, but what's the fun if it don't got no wobble? All right, let's try the part my brother did, built for me. Oh wait, washer first, then that thing, then the prop, then a washer, then the nut. <laughs> there we go. Oh my gosh, y'all, I am so stoked for this. All right, this is the actual, actual first test run. I don't know if that prop is just gonna wiggle the heck around, if it's gonna shake. Now, I don't have the right bolts to bolt it to here, so it might shake a little bit here because I don't actually, I'm not able to tighten those all the way. Whew, but let's give it a whirl. Let's see what happens. All right, guys. Yo, I don't know if I'm ready for this, but here it goes. Sort of an interesting situation. That is separating there, and I'm not sure how that's possible, except that maybe it's wiggling off of there and stretching that out. So. Hopefully, new screws will fix that, but that's all I have for right now. So we will see you back here in just a little bit. A few moments later. Marsh, do you see that? No, where is it? See the two eyes looking right at us? Huge. Oh, he just turned away. What is it? Oh my gosh, 
What is that? It's you see it? You really can't see that? No, but I'm blind. You're night blinder than a bat, Marsh. Are they glowing? Yeah. Maybe the angle? No, there, there's one. What the? All right, I'm gonna have to go out there and investigate. Oh my gosh, you guys, we have this crazy nighttime intruder. Like probably the biggest, the baddest thing that could ever come up to our house. And Crandall has to go help catch it. I gotta go wrangle. Maybe I'll use the e-bike to round them up <laughs> since I don't have a horse. So, like you saw, we have a giant breeding bull <laughs> in our front of our house. Just eating all of our grass. I went up and I told the neighbors that I think their bull got out and she's like, oh no. But luckily we don't have the kids here. Nothing's been harmed. But Crandall's gonna help the neighbors get their bowl all wrapped up. He's always wanted to be a true cowboy. I'm going with him because I don't want to be alone. You're gonna come with me? This is, this is new. All right, let's go. Goose, you stay. But what if Goose chases off my intruder? They're just walking it down. It kind of tried to go after them just a little bit, but I think they said they're missing four other cows. I just came inside from Crandall wrangling the bull and I hear this big crash in the backyard and Goose is going crazy. Oh my gosh, no. Where are the chicken at? The chicken landed on the quail. Ah! What the heck is happening? What? It's not even a full moon, y'all. Colonel's been, well, he's supposed to clean this up today. I know, you're all gonna say if your house is cleaner. Gosh, what did I just step in? Where the heck did this chicken come from? I cut all their wings myself. And all the dogs are barking. What the? Well, I'll have to tell Crandall. But I found a freaking chicken. I don't know what is going on. But every animal in this entire like 10 miles is making a noise right now. Freaking sketchy. Hi goose. I don't know if I'm supposed to follow Crandall so I could pick him up or if I'm gonna, maybe they'll give him a ride back. I have his phone. It's like a half mile. Oh, no, that was just a random car. Well, I guess I will just wait and see. Y'all, it was just absolutely crazy having that bowl in our front yard. <laughs> we were both like, what in the heck is that? And we were taken back. They say he's a really friendly bowl, but he was fired up for whatever reason. So he was like huffing and snorting and like fake, you know, kicking the air and like, it was a little bit wild, but thankfully we got him back. They actually penned him up. They took him in a truck and they trucked him down to their other property, I guess, that's pretty close by. So we shouldn't be having him back on our property. <laughs> they said they have no idea how he got out. So they probably went and uh, checked all of their fences, but decided just to take him down there. So they took him down there, but yeah, it was completely crazy. I have run out of time on this project today, so y'all stay tuned. Hit that like button, subscribe so you don't miss part two. Part two is going to be amazing. We're going to take Maverick out on it, hopefully on the maiden voyage. Uh, maybe that's not a smart idea, but I'll probably end up taking him with me anyways. Uh, we'll just have to make sure that we bring our life jackets in case we get stranded out in the middle of the lake. But thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see y'all on the next one.